Hello, it's Keith from Kinvert, and in this video we are going to be going over how to do a shell command in 123D. I'm going to pop down a box, and I will go to Modify, Shell. Let's see, thickness inside, I can go with 3, and blah blah blah, hit enter. So you can see how this one turned out, okay? I just did this with the default settings, now let's pop another one next to it. And this time I'm going to grab the body, grab the face, and I don't think the option, oh it is available, so I will click Shell. I also could go up here where I did before, or I can hit the J key, I will hit the J key. J key. And now I'm going to go for 3 millimeters, but now what I'm going to do, instead of inside, I'm going to say outside. Go to 3 millimeters, and you can see that this grew out thickness instead of going inwards. And so this one is bigger than that one. I can also do a happy medium. Let's do that. So I'm going to move this one over, pop in another trusty rusty box and this time I'm gonna pick the top face again shell command I'm gonna do both and now let's oh that's interesting you have two different options so I can go three out and three in and you'll end up with a super thick one that's actually this is gonna be the outer dimension is the same but this is gonna be like the heaviest one so that's kind of interesting you can do independent size by the way, notice when I did the outside, these two go the whole way around, right? So these got taller. So if you want these to be flat on the bed, you got to click them and hit D key for drop. So let's do one more kind of cool thing here. I am going to do, 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 draw an ellipse. I'm going to draw it on this face. Draw it like this. Call that good. Pick that. Copy. Paste. Move this up and rotate it like 45 degrees or so. There we go. And I am going to do a loft command. This is instead of like starting with a box or something, I'm making a slightly cooler shape. So now we've got this goofy shape. I'm gonna move it over so you can see it better. So it's not with these curves, sketches. All right, so here's this. Now what I'm gonna do is grab it. I'm gonna hold control and tap the top face and now I'm gonna, it's unfortunate the way they highlight this, it doesn't make things super clear. Holding control, I'm clicking the other face. Now I have two faces selected. So now when I hit J for shell, or go to here and say shell, and I give it say, do do do, come on. There we go, five millimeters of thickness. What you will see is it should have gone all the way through. So you can select more than one face before you enter the shell command and you can shell through multiple faces. You cannot shell through a curvy face like this. So let's go to the shell command on our own shell. See how I can pick the top? What if I try to pick this? Oh, okay. Well, that's what happens. So, of course. So that is the shell command and hope you found this useful. This is Keith from Kinvert. And yeah, we went over shell command. So enjoy. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.